fine, it's fine, it's fine. Oh my god. My eyebrow is f***ing green! What's up? My name is Alexis and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to join the fam. Today I thought I would try something new. So a couple days ago I was at my local Walmart shopping for some deep conditioner when I came across this dye that my mom's ex-boyfriend, fiance, used to use on his beard. He would use it to cover up his grace. And when I saw it, I thought, hmm, I wonder if that would work on my eyebrows. So today I'm gonna try. I'm not sure how this is gonna turn out, but we're gonna find out together. The brand is called Bijan. 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 Yeah, I don't know how to say it, but this is the brand. This is the only color that they had at Walmart. I would have rather have gotten like the darkest black or whatever, or I think it was called Oriental Black, because that's what my mom's ex boyfriend, fiance used. But all they had was black brown. This is how my brows are naturally. They have absolutely no product on them right now. I don't know what I'm really going for. Yeah, I do. I'm going for an Alexa Demi kind of look, you know? And if you don't know who Alexa Demi is, I'm gonna need you to get your life together. Yeah, I'm not supposed to be here right now because I'm dressed like a hooker and none of you like me, but I just wanted to say congratulations. Maddie, get out of here. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Bijan. So Bijan is a permanent powder hair dye that has been around for almost 30 years. It's activated by water and it's supposed to give you rich, natural looking color. And the best part about it is there's no ammonia. And there's no harsh odor. Mind you, this is supposed to be for your hair, so I'm not 100% sure how this is gonna work on my eyebrows or if it's okay to, but I'm gonna do it anyways. I'm a little nervous, I'm not gonna lie. I need a snack. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prep my brows. I'm just gonna take some regular Vaseline and I'm gonna put a Q-tip in there to get some off so I don't have to be messy about this. And I'm really only worried about the under part of my eye because it's very sensitive, thin skin. So I'm just gonna take this and I'm going to go right underneath my brow. But I'm gonna be careful to not get it on any hairs that I might want to dye. Okay. This is on the box not to use it on your brows or eyelashes. I'm gonna do it anyways. So it says take a pinch of it and mix it in a non-metal bowl. So I'm just gonna use this container that it came in. I'm just gonna, ooh. Well, I got some in there. And now I just need to mix it with room temperature water. Water. Okay, so it said to make a paste out of it, so it's not that much water at all. There's barely any water in there, and I'm just gonna stir it up with this zip tie I found in a drawer. It's a place. I don't need much of it because I'm just doing my brows. Okay, so that's what it looks like, and I am going to clip back my hair real quick so I don't get it in there. And then I'm just gonna take my eyebrow brush and I'm gonna put some on there and I'm just gonna brush in an upwards motion and I'm gonna try to work pretty quick because I don't want this to sit on there for too long. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take this Q-tip and just clean up my eyebrow to make sure that there's no spots that don't have hair. Okay, so now I just need to put on a timer. It says to leave it on for 15 minutes if you have relaxed or permed hair, but 30 for natural. So I think that I'm gonna just try to keep it close to 10 minutes, maybe 15, and then I'll probably remove it. But this is what it looks like. Sexy, right? Super sexy. And now we're just gonna wait 10 minutes. Wish me luck. Wow. What are you doing? I'm dead. Can you see my brows? They're hot, huh? I do. <laughs> what is going on here? Um, <laughs> you're you're, you're uh, dying them. Mm hmm. Okay. For the but video. it's with some sh that said not to dye your eyebrows with it. What the f? I don't know. My mom's boyfriend, he used to use it on his beard, so I'm like, you know what I mean? Oh my god. 
<laughs> well, you might, okay, you should die pretty fast. Like, you need to take that shit off soon. It's been on probably 10 minutes now. Bro, okay, no, take the off. Okay, just call me when you're done or something. Alright. Okay, so it's been a little bit over 10 minutes now, and I'm about to take this ish off right now. I'm gonna take this cotton round, and I'll probably take some of these Q-tips too, just to make sure that I really get it off. And I'm also going to use witch hazel to dampen the cotton round. And My eyebrow is f***ing green! Oh no. Why are you green? Why is it green? Oh my god, it's not f***ing coming off! But, oh. oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. No, 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 no. Oh my god. Why didn't I wipe around it? Mother -fucker. My eyebrows f Oh my god! <gasps> no! Oh my god, I'm so- I'm so f upset! No! Oh my god, it's not coming off! Okay, that was one of the scariest things of my life. I thought I just ruined my brows and then I was gonna have to look like Jafar for God knows how long. But your girl is a problem solver and I figured that ish out. So this is what the brows are looking like with zero product. There's absolutely nothing on there. I haven't cleaned them up or anything. What I did to get the extra dye off in places that it doesn't belong. First I tried some oil on a Q-tip to try to scrub what was still on there. And then that didn't work entirely. So I was like, oh my God, I'm so screwed. When I used to dye my hair, I used to take alcohol and a cotton swab and it would just take it completely off. So I couldn't find my alcohol. The closest thing I had to it was some hand sanitizer. And I know I'm gonna get my trimmed for using it for that purpose but I needed to get it off but as you can see my eyebrows are a lot darker than they were before there might still be a little bit of staining in between the hairs but I'm not really worried about it I'm sure it'll come off in the next couple days and at least for right now I've got it to a point where it doesn't look completely crazy and I'm gonna style them and then show you my final look all right, so this is the final look. What do you guys think? I just put some clear gel onto my brows, so there's absolutely no added color, and I'm just so thankful that I figured out a way to get that excess dye off because, I don't know, they kind of pop in now. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. All right, it's a beautiful day outside and I'm trying to enjoy it, so I'm gonna let you guys go, but thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all the support. I hope my pain was somewhat amusing to you. Okay, see you in the next video.